every religion, every tribe, we are going to fight for Ghana because it is possible to transform this country. What happened in Hohoi can happen here in North Tongo. Amehu was running. They said it was not possible, but he said it is possible, and he made it. And today, John Yao, John Savior, a blue doctor, is going to be the next member of parliament for North Congo constituency, inshallah. When we said we were bringing free senior high school education, they said it was not possible. But we said, by the grace of God, it is possible. And we made it possible. Today, 5.7 million children have gone to free SHS. They canceled teacher training allowance. We said we'll bring it back. They said we wouldn't be able to do it. We said it is possible possible and we have brought teacher training allowance we have brought nursing training allowance we have brought free technical and vocational education we have brought agenda 111 we have brought drones we have brought zongo development fund we have brought digitalization ghana card digital address Mobile money interoperability. Everything we wanted to do, they said it was not possible. But we said it is possible and we have done it. Choboy, Choboy, they have more to do. One of my biggest priorities is to revamp and save the Volta Star Textiles factory here in Vodjapong. We are going to save this factory with a new policy. That policy is called Buy Ghana First Policy. Everything Ghana government is going to buy, we have to buy it in Ghana first to create the jobs in Ghana. And all our uniforms and so on, we will buy from the Volta Star Textile Factory to create the jobs for our people here. Chaboy! Chaboy, we are going to help the farmers. I want to focus on agriculture. Our farmers need help. They need irrigation. They need equipment. They need tractors. They need combined harvesters. They need planters. I am going to set up a district mechanization center in every district in Ghana. Our farmers will have the equipment to farm. Chaboy, Chaboy. We are going to bring down the cost of electricity for all households and businesses in Ghana. Today, we import oil and gas to generate electricity. But I am going to move Ghana away from oil and gas to solar power. Solar power to generate electricity. We will bring down the cost of power by 50%. 50% in Ghana because we are going to invest in solar power. We are going to make sure that all the youth have training in digital skills. I'm going to train 1 million youth in digital skills and 5,000 youth from North Tongo will have training in digital skills. And when you have training in digital skills, even if you are a school dropout, we can train you. And you can sit here in Japan and be working in America, in Canada, in the UK, in Australia, in Japan, right from here in Japan. Choboy, Choboy, we are going to make passport application very easy for everybody. Today, when you're looking for a passport, you have to fill the form, have your birth certificate and other documents. But when I look at the form, all the information required is on your Ghana card. So from next year, from next year, inshallah, if you want a passport, 
if you have a Ghana card, you don't feel a form anymore. Once you have a Ghana card, we will print your passport for you. Very simply. And that is very easy for everybody. Choboy. Choboy. The same thing with driver's license currently is valid for six years. But every two years, you have to go and renew your driver's license. I'm changing it. The driver's license will now be valid for 10 years. And every five years, you can go and renew your driver's license. Every five years. Choboy, all persons with disabilities, all persons with disabilities under my government will go for tertiary education for free. All persons with disabilities. Chobe, we are going to bring a new Ghana. In the, U, in the advanced countries, they have something called a credit system. That makes life easier for them. In those countries, if you want to buy something, if you don't have the money, you can go and pick, put a small deposit and then pay small, small, small. After three years, five years, you are finished paying. That credit system that exists in the advanced countries, I'm bringing it to Ghana. I'm bringing the credit system to Ghana. So Ghana is going to start credit scoring. We have the Ghana card, we have the digital address, and we have mobile money interoperability. So next month, inshallah, Ghana, we are going to launch the credit scoring system for Ghana. And we will soon be like the advanced countries and buy things and pay small, small, small. Ghana will be the second country in the whole of Africa. It's only one country now that's South Africa that does the credit scoring. Ghana will be the second country and we will change everybody's well-being with the credit 